All right, so you know those currency exchange booths you see at airports? The ones with, like, slightly different rates? Yeah. Imagine if you could, like, buy euros at one, swap them for dollars at another, and somehow end up with more dollars than you started with. That's kind of the basic idea behind arbitrage. Oh. Making money from price differences, right? Yeah. That's what we're diving into today. Cool. But instead of cash, we're talking about tokens. Okay. On decentralized exchanges, specifically Uniswap V2. Oh, nice. You sent over some fascinating research on a new algorithm for finding these arbitrage opportunities. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to Quantopian's Quant Radio, your AI-driven podcast exploring everything related to quantitative finance. If you enjoy this episode, don't forget to like and subscribe to stay updated on future releases. For more Quant-focused content, join us at community.quantopian.com. There you can explore a wealth of resources, connect with fellow quants, engage in insightful discussions, and enhance your skills through our extensive range of online courses. Quant Radio is intended to help people develop their knowledge and skills in quant finance. This podcast is not intended to provide investment advice. And now, back to the episode. It's a pretty clever approach. Okay. And it really highlights some interesting things about how Uniswap works. First, though, we need to understand a little bit about how prices are determined on Uniswap V2, okay. unlike traditional exchanges. Uniswap uses an algorithm called a constant product market maker, or CPMM. CPMM, that sounds intimidating. Yeah. Can you break it down? Absolutely. Imagine a seesaw. Okay. On one side, you have ETH. Okay. And on the other side, you have another token. Okay. The price of the token is determined by its ratio to ETH okay. in that specific pool. Right. So as you buy more of the token, yeah. Its side of the seesaw goes up and the ETH side goes down, uh, changing the ratio and therefore the price. Right. It's always balanced. Okay, that makes sense. So different pools yeah. can have different prices for the same token. Right. Just like those airport currency booths. Exactly. And that's where the opportunity for arbitrage comes in. All right. Now, the researchers in this paper, they took a unique approach to finding these opportunities. Okay. They built something called a token graph. Okay. Which is basically a map of all the tokens on Uniswap V2 and the pools where they can be exchanged. Uh -huh. Each token is a point on the map. Gotcha. And lines connecting them represent the pools. So it's like a network of tokens and trading possibilities. Exactly. I'm already seeing how this could get complex. It does. But the researchers went even further. Wow. Instead of just looking at the token graph itself, they created something called a line graph. Yeah. What if instead of cities on a map, we made the roads the main points. Okay. The connections would then be whether those roads intersect. Whoa. Yeah. That's a mind-bending concept. Yeah. It's like flipping the script on how we normally view a map. Exactly. But I'm curious, why would they do that? That's where it gets really interesting. Okay. By shifting the focus to the trading routes instead of just the tokens. They could apply a modified version of a classic algorithm called Moore Bellman Ford. Think of it like Google Maps. It helps you find the shortest route from point A to point B. Yeah. In this case though, the algorithm is looking for the most profitable trading route through the line graph, the one that yields the most profit from those price differences. So it's like Google Maps for arbitrage hunters. Exactly. That's brilliant. And did they actually find anything? They did. Okay. And here's the kicker. Yeah. They found way more arbitrage opportunities than anyone expected. So they were just piles of digital cash sitting there waiting to be scooped up. I'm intrigued. Tell me more. Some of the opportunities they identified were theoretically worth a million dollars. A million dollars. A million dollars just waiting to be grabbed. That's incredible. Yeah. But hold on. There must be some catches, right? You're absolutely right. While the research uncovered a significant number of potential opportunities, yeah. it's important to remember this is based on snapshots of data. Okay. In the real world, <laughs> arbitrage is a race. The moment a price difference appears, mm -hmm it's likely someone or some bot is already taking advantage of it. So it's not as easy as just seeing the opportunity and cashing in. No. There's competition involved. Exactly. And on top of that, we have to factor in those pesky transaction fees. Right. Known as gas on the Ethereum network. Yeah. These fees can eat into your profits. Right. Especially on smaller arbitrage opportunities. That makes sense. So while this algorithm found all this potential profit, Uh-huh. Actually realizing it is a whole other ballgame. 
Precisely. However, that doesn't mean this research isn't valuable. It gives us some intriguing insights into the efficiency of Uniswap V2. Right. One of the key findings was that over time, okay. the to total potential profit from arbitrage actually went down. That's interesting. Right. So does that mean Uniswap is getting better at preventing these price discrepancies from happening? Potentially. Is it becoming more efficient? It suggests the market mechanisms are working better. Okay. It's likely more people are catching these opportunities quicker, uh -huh. leading to less extreme price differences. Okay. Think of it as the market correcting itself. So even in this decentralized system, uh -huh. the basic principles of supply and demand are still at play. Exactly. Yeah. As more people try to exploit these opportunities, Indeed. the opportunities themselves become smaller and less frequent. Right. And that leads us to another crucial point. Okay. This research primarily focused on what we call classical arbitrage, which involves exploiting price differences within a single platform, in this case, Uniswap V2. But there are other types of arbitrage out there. One example yeah. is triangular arbitrage, okay. which involves taking advantage of price differences okay. between three assets okay. on potentially different platforms. Right. Imagine we have tokens A, B, and C. Okay. Yeah. You could exchange A for B on one platform, uh -huh. then B for C on another, okay. and finally C back to A on a third platform. Gotcha. If the exchange rates are just right, you end up with more of token A than you started with, uh -huh. even if no single exchange offered a direct arbitrage opportunity. Oh. Yeah. So it's like a chain reaction of trade, bouncing between different tokens and platforms to squeeze out a profit. Precisely. Right. And there's also statistical arbitrage, which uses complex statistical models to identify temporary mispricings in the market. This is making me realize just how deep the rabbit hole goes with arbitrage. It does, yeah. It's a whole world of strategies and techniques. It certainly is. Yeah. And what's particularly exciting is that it's still a relatively young and rapidly evolving field. Right. There's so much we don't know yet. Yeah. So many opportunities for innovation and discovery. Okay, but let's bring this back down to earth for a moment. Okay. What does all this mean for the average person who might be interested in getting into DeFi? Yeah. Should they be trying to become expert arbitrage hunters? That's a great question, and one that deserves careful consideration. Yeah. While the potential rewards of arbitrage can be tempting, it's crucial to understand the risks involved. Right, like those gas fees we talked about. Exactly. And I imagine you need quite a bit of technical knowledge to even spot these opportunities in the first place. Exactly. Arbitrage is a highly competitive field, right. often dominated by sophisticated bots and experienced traders. For someone just starting out, it's important to approach it with caution and do thorough research before committing any capital. Yeah, that makes sense. However, that doesn't mean this information isn't valuable for the average person. I see what you mean. Yeah. Even if I'm not ready to become an arbitrage pro, Yeah. understanding these concepts is still key to navigating the world of DeFi. It is. It's like learning the rules of the game. Yeah. Even if you're not playing at the highest level. Couldn't agree more. Right. Knowledge is power. Right. Especially in a space as dynamic and complex as decentralized finance. This whole conversation has been really eye-opening. I always find it invigorating to delve into these complex topics uh -huh. and uncover the hidden intricacies of the financial world. I have to say, I'm a bit blown away by the fact that this research uncovered so many arbitrage opportunities on Uniswap V2. It is pretty amazing. Yeah. Makes you wonder what's happening on other platforms. Right. And with even more advanced algorithms. You're hitting on a crucial point. Yeah. We've been talking about Uniswap V2. Right. But remember, Uniswap itself has evolved. Right. There's a V3 now with even more complex mechanisms. Right. What does this research tell us about the potential for arbitrage on V3 yeah. or on entirely different decentralized exchanges? That's a fantastic question. Right. It's like we've been given a flashlight uh -huh. to explore a single cave. Yeah. And now we're realizing there's a whole network of caves out there. Exactly. Each with its own unique ecosystem of arbitrage opportunities. Exactly. And that brings me to a final thought I'd like to leave you and our listener with. Okay. Lay it on us. Well, We've seen how this research used a clever line graph approach right. to uncover hidden arbitrage opportunities I... on Uniswap V2. Right. But as we've been discussing, the world of DeFi yeah. 
is constantly evolving. Uh Uniswap V3, for example, has a much more flexible fee structure, which could create entirely new types of arbitrage opportunities. That's a really interesting point. It's Uh like the researchers have given us powerful new tools, but now the playing field itself is changing. And it's not just about Uniswap. Right. There are countless other decentralized exchanges out there, each with its own unique mechanisms and quirks. Right. Who knows what kind of arbitrage opportunities are lurking in those uncharted territories? This research is just the tip of the iceberg. Exactly. It's opened our eyes to a whole new way of thinking about arbitrage, but the real treasure hunt is still ongoing. And I think that's what makes this field so exciting. Yeah. It's a constant game of cat and mouse with traders and algorithms constantly trying to outsmart each other. It's like a whole hidden world, financial innovation, waiting to be explored. And that's the beauty of DeFi. Yeah. It's open, permissionless, yeah. and constantly evolving. Right. The possibilities are truly endless. We've gone from airport currency exchanges to line graphs. Yeah. And from million dollar opportunities to the cutting edge of DeFi innovation. Right. It's been an incredible journey. It's been a pleasure sharing this deep dive with you. Likewise. As always, I encourage everyone to stay curious, stay informed, And who knows, maybe you'll be the one to discover the next big arbitrage opportunity. And on that note, thanks for listening, and we'll catch you in the next Deep Dive. 